Hey, hi, hello, and welcome back to Ingenuity. Today, well, it was the plan anyway, we're going to be building the rear frame rails and getting the subframe in the CRX. First, got to set the height, then we're going to set the width, and then cut, grind, weld, repeat. You know the deal. Lots to do, short time to do it. Let's go. Let's go! <laughs> So I got the control arms mounted onto the subframe, I got the ball joints and the spindles and the spindles on the control arms, and I slid it all under the car. And it actually fits pretty good um, in terms of just being shoved up in there. Um, I'll show you what I'm talking about. So you can see it's not all the way up against the, uh, the bottom of the factory frame rail. So we're going to have another like three inches to go up because I'd rather be able to give myself the option to create spacers to push the drivetrain down than be too far down and have to try to figure out a way to make it go up. But with the control arm leveled out, um, this is kind of where it's going to sit. Um, basically a full droop. So the factory frame rails kind of run right up here right where these holes are and they bow out right where the uh, strut towers are, continue down, and then they just kind of stop, like right about there. Starting on the insides of the frame rails, which is right here, um, cutting straight up, we're gonna clearance the, basically gonna notch out this whole lower section so we can slide things in and out of the, you know, down here. Um, <clears throat> and then we're just gonna follow the floor pan uh, all the way forward, um, following that frame rail line and then see we're kind of where that takes us and hopefully it gets us damn close so that is the plan of attack all right so if i'm being honest with myself i'm a little worried about the structural integrity of the car at this point so first i'm going to weld some supports in so this thing doesn't like crumple into a ball on itself then i'll cut the floor out well <laughs> what's left of the floor to cut out and then we'll get started on the frame rail so let's go
Okay, so quick show and tell. Um, <clears throat> I, we got the we got the rear stack, we got the front stack. Uh, I had to cut them and move them a couple times. They just weren't they weren't lining up right. They, they're starting to tweak on me a little bit. That's why you tack weld it first, right? So it's it's tacked. You can move it, um, need, get it where you need to be. So now that everything is square again, um, we're going to keep moving forward. Um, I grabbed the control arms, threw them on the subframe, and then threw um, grab one of the hubs and attached it to uh, a spare tire I have for my STI. And I'm using that <clears throat> attached to the control arm just to kind of find a rough um, center of, of where the axle line is going to be. Because I only have one spare, um, I'm going to try to get this side kind of good. And then once this side's good, take the measurements of, of kind of where we sit, try to get those measurements to mimic the other side, then take the spare off, flip it to the other side, and make sure it still lines up. That's at least the kind of thought process I had behind that. So, let's do it. Oh my god, that is a Subaru subframe bolted, bolted into a CRX. Come on, how good is that? This is the coolest thing I have ever done, hands down. Uh, if nobody likes it, that's fine. All right, so I'm gonna zip up those bolts real quick. Um, once that's in there, uh, I'm gonna do the final welding and cutting and capping of the front rails, and then we put the engine in transit. Because we have to figure out the uh, have to figure out the trans mount situation in the back. So yeah. That one's a little bit of a bit of a question mark. But come on! Subaru subframe in a CRX. This is awesome. Alright, and with that, I think it's safe to call it a day. It's been a bit of a long one, but holy hell, we did it, right? The frame rails are in the car, soft frames in the car. We're here. I mean, this is, we're, we're, we're going. We're doing things. This is happening. So, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And just remember, when someone tells you you can't do something like this, you just might need to use a little ingenuity. I will see you next time. <laughs>